will be Mulraney. It's spinning. Redmond got his head on it, but he couldn't get the necessary direction on it. Brilliant delivery, Oshin. Yeah, he's probably just in there ahead of it. It's one of them you want to be coming onto it. But uh, great ball. Well, for the benefit of those listening on the St. Pat's app, six minutes gone, still scoreless. Mulroney towards the back post. Keely will attack it. Now it's a back turner. It's in. Well, Keeley, having just come back into the team, very much claims the assist, and Turner claims the goal. He's first for the club. Very simple. Conor Keeley, he spun around the back. I think he's injured. He's got a knock. But again, on his right foot, we were just saying he's a le left-footed player, Luke Turner, but he'd be delighted with that finish. Uh, simple goal, and we said how important set plays would be today. Mulraney spun it in. Keeley, well, I was going to say threw himself at it, but he actually had a level of control there to knock it back to Turner and Turner right footed finish brilliant stuff Keeley is still receiving treatment let's hope he's okay Hutchinson with Nolan putting him under pressure Nolan has pickpocketed him Keating is in front Nolan across to Keating just gets away from him that's a brilliant play again from Nolan great ball in just unlucky that Mulraney or Keating couldn't get their foot on it let's have another look here it was casual I think it was at Hutchinson who was at uh, dispossessed there but again it's just that youthful energy from, from that Nolan has brought into the team Lennon Scarfering back is Hutchinson and Nolan is on his shoulder and Hutchinson makes a mess of the clearance and Nolan has it Keating's in the middle Mulraney there as well Nolan Nolan oh. what a save by McGinty brilliant save we were with a perfect angle here you don't know if he's going to go on his left or his right it's a really good save in his top corner Alex Nolan he started superbly well Alex Nolan, he is giving Hutchinson a torrid time on the right-hand side, isn't he? It's a really smart save. Matta waiting for it, takes it down brilliantly. Here's Morahan, he's teeing it up. Morahan, straight at Rogers. Chapman was following up. Mulraney is down off camera. We'll have a look at the, the replay of this uh, into the first. Here's Moran. Chapman loses out and Pats get it back and it's Bulger to Keating. Kavanagh. Kavanagh looking for the run of Keating. Keating's going to get there. Keating. Keating. Side dead. He was desperately unlucky. A very tight angle. Really good play. Great little uh, slide ball from Kavanagh. Perfect weight on it. And Keating did nothing wrong. Took that first touch around the keeper. It's just the angle was too tight. Good play again. Lovely ball from Kavner. Well, Keating unlucky not to score there. UCD have managed to do the job. They're 1 0 up now against uh, Kerry FC. As you said, it's not even half time, long way to go. It's an outswinger. Turner! It's two! Luke Turner! Awful defending, awful defending. It's really simple set play. Kavner, Luke Turner doesn't own himself. Two goals. Playing it right back out of position. You think you have a crisis at right back with two players injured? The right back comes in, gets two goals. Well, a great corner kick. Here's Kavanaugh with the delivery. And there's Turner with the finish, holding off Morahan. Showed great strength and guile and skill there. Mixed physicality with accuracy. Awful miss. As Rory Keating gets onto it and Keating misses. Denham really switched off in the centre of defence. One straight ball. It was actually a real miss hit from Conor Keeley. He's got a score. Oh. Game over if this goes in. Yep. Might be an opportunity to slide it down to Levy, yeah. That's exactly what they do. Levy has a look across, stands it up. Levy, it's attacked at the back post by Keeley. Should have scored. Yep. Great opportunity for Connery. He'd be disappointed. Clever little free kick down the sides. Against Sligo, switched off. Let's have another look. Clever, clever ball. Levy. Keeley attacked it. Great ball outside. Running onto it. Hutchinson. Not Moran, I beg your pardon. 
Moran pulls it back in. Here's Hartman. Hartman! Good save by Rogers. There was a lot of bodies in the way. He would have seen it late. Luke Turner is asking why there's all that space at the edge of the box. Again, that's what we talked about. They need to be clever. Jamie Lennon just needs to sit there. He doesn't need to do anything. And they're talking to Mason Mealy about making sure he's tracking back. Dead misses it. Cavan is onto it. Cavan is tucked That's back. a right card. The referee plays on. I can't understand that. I'm sure Forrester. he's dragged all of them. Yeah, the whistle in his mouth. It looked yeah. like a red card for me. Here's Forrester. Forrester. Forrester shot. McGinty saves. Very strange decision. I'd like to see the replay of that. One strike ball and definitely looked like he, he dragged him down when he was about to score. We'll have another look at that in a moment, but it did look like it was a penalty. Keeley has to deal with this and does. But it falls to uh, Hartman. However, he can't do anything much with it. John Daly's not happy. He's asking the fourth official because I'm, he's talking well, about the... Here's what stri happened. Straight ball. It's all over him. I don't understand why that's not... I don't, know, I don't understand why that's not a penalty in a red card. And, and as you could see there, Paul Norton did have the whistle in his mouth, so I wonder... That's exactly what John Daly was saying to the fourth official. Has scored twice for Pats in this particular competition. Here's Bulger. Forrester, Breslin, Breslin, Melia, take. hit it as a shout, Melia, oh, oh what a goal. his first of the season, and it's one to cherish, love the nonchalance of the celebration, like he does it every day in training, we had a perfect view of it, cut out his feet, don't know if he got deflection, possibly not, but Richard Bush, in fairness, couldn't do anything about it, love to see a young player do that, brilliant, brilliant, his first goal in the league this season for St. Pat's, Breslin with a really clever ball. Melia. Oh, it did take a deflection. We'll give it to him now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and no draft excluder. No need when you've got so many players behind. Radosevich dips. It wasn't far away. Mm, he hit it very well. It was one of them. Yeah. Came right down. Great strike. Definitely had Rogers worried. It's Ronaldo one, is it? Where he's Hit it with his instep, it goes up and down very quickly. The side of his foot. McClelland is through. Here's Kavanagh. Keen Kavanagh. Oh. oh, it wasn't so far away from Brandon Kavanagh. Deserved a goal as well. That had gone in. It's been excellent since they came on in the first half. Good play. The Kavanagh brothers who were not related. through to Mali. Mali goes down, no free kicks at the referee. And there's the full-time whistle, St. Pat's with just the third victory of the season, just the second one at home. St. Pat's three, Sligo Rovers nil.